Low blood sugars are easily one of the worst parts of living with type 1 diabetes and taking insulin every day, all day. Right now, there is a clinical trial taking place in the United States and Canada looking for participants with T1D who experience hypoglycemia at night. And yeah, that's pretty much all of us. Zucara Therapeutics has developed a drug that aims to prevent low blood sugars in people with type 1 diabetes. Okay, but wait, before we get into this clinical trial, let's talk about why your body isn't already protecting you from low blood sugars the way it's supposed to. It's not just because you're taking injections of insulin. See, your body should actually prevent low blood sugars all on its own because your liver is loaded with backup glucose, sugar, for this very reason. But there's a little problem. As a person with type 1 diabetes, there are actually five other hormones that your body struggles to produce normal amounts of. Two of those hormones are actually supposed to work together to prevent low blood sugars. You can learn about all five of those hormones in my video from last week. There's the link. Okay, but if you have type one, those two hormones that are supposed to work together to prevent hypoglycemia, it's not working properly. They're not doing their job. Here's why. In type one diabetes, your immune system attacks and destroys your beta cells. Beta cells produce insulin. There are other cells in your pancreas that depend on the beta cells. When your blood sugar is dropping, your beta cells would normally stop producing insulin because you only need insulin if your blood sugar is rising. When those beta cells turn off, other cells are supposed to notice that and then start doing their job. So all the communication between beta cells and these other critical cells that make other critical hormones is totally a mess. And it's all because your immune system has attacked and destroyed your beta cells. The other two cells are alpha and delta cells. When your blood sugar is dropping, your alpha cells would release a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon tells your liver to release stored sugar. A fancy word for that stored sugar is called glycogen. So it releases the glycogen and converts it into glucose, which is a fancy word for sugar also. Being able to access that stored glucose when you need it is the reason that people without diabetes don't really experience low blood sugar. Meanwhile, in type one diabetes, your liver is still releasing plenty of glucose all day long. In fact, it's often releasing too much, but not when you actually need it. During low blood sugars, nobody is telling your alpha cells to go release extra glucagon, to tell your liver to release extra glucose. Okay, but there's another type of cell involved in this, and that's the delta cell. Delta cells release a hormone called somatostatin. Somatostatin helps regulate two things, how much insulin you produce and how much glucagon you produce. When your blood sugar is dropping, somatostatin normally lets your pancreas release more glucagon. And glucagon, of course, is the hormone that tells your liver to release that stored sugar. And that's not happening if you live with type 1 diabetes. Instead, somatostatin is actually blocking the release of glucagon from the delta cells in your pancreas. Because when your beta cells aren't working right, your delta cells aren't working right. Nobody is there to tell the somatostatin hormone to back off and let the other hormones do their job. The whole communication system is just totally screwed up. But it can also be really scary because low blood sugars can be really scary. If you take insulin for type one or type two diabetes, you are constantly worried about low blood sugars and you are constantly working to prevent low blood sugars. It's exhausting, it can be very dangerous. One super low blood sugar can ruin the entire rest of your day. It can lead you to losing consciousness. You can have seizures. You can end up in the hospital. Hey, I gotta tell you something really quick. I can help you hit your time and range and your A1C goals. I can help you lose weight and improve your relationship with food in my new Diabetes Nerd Patreon channel. On October 26th, Patreon is an exclusive subscription-based platform. You're gonna get exclusive content from me that is all about tips to help you thrive with type one or type two diabetes. Check it out, Diabetes Nerd on Patreon, launching October 26th. Okay, so let's talk about this clinical trial and this drug from Zucara Therapeutics. 
because it's pretty cool. This would be the first medication of its kind to prevent low blood sugars in people taking insulin to manage diabetes. Zucara Therapeutics was founded in 2014. From day one, their entire mission has been to develop a once daily injectable medication that tells your liver to release more glucose when your blood sugar is dropping. But wait, here's a detail that's really cool. When your blood sugar does start increasing and it reaches 90, thanks to Zucara's medication, that whole hormonal action knows to turn off so your blood sugar doesn't rise too high. So you don't actually spike. You just come up to a safe level. The science behind this is so good that their early funding came from Breakthrough T1D, formerly known as JDRF, and the Helmsley Charitable Trust, both of which are definitely leaders in the development of technology and medications for people with type 1 diabetes, both of which are definitely leaders in driving big research and new technology to improve life for people with type 1 diabetes. All right, so this medication is currently called ZT01. Here's how it works. Basically, ZT01 tells your somatostatin hormone to back off so that your liver can release extra sugar when it needs to and prevent low blood sugars. It's a pretty amazing idea and it sounds so simple. So far, Zucara has already completed phase one of its clinical trial. Phase one in a clinical trial studies the safety of a medication. So their phase one trial concluded that ZT01 proved to be safe and well tolerated by people with type one diabetes taking doses of the medication. The next part of phase one is phase 1.B, which is the proof of concept. Phase 1B basically asks the question, does the medication actually improve the release of glucagon to prevent low blood sugars in people with type 1 diabetes? Guess what? They successfully completed that phase. ZT01 proved to be effective in restoring glycogen production in people with type 1 diabetes. Now they're in phase two of their clinical trial. Phase two is all about efficacy. Phase two tries to answer the question, how well does a drug improve a certain disease or condition? For Zucara, phase two involves recruiting participants with type 1 diabetes in the United States and in Canada to see if ZT01 can effectively prevent low blood sugars overnight. Okay, so there's two reasons why this study is specifically about overnight lows. The first reason is that, you know, we know overnight lows are the most dangerous and they interrupt your sleep, your quality of sleep and your safety while you're sleeping. You need rest. You need uninterrupted deep sleep. And we all know that getting good sleep with type 1 diabetes is very challenging. Okay, the second reason why this study is focused on overnight lows is because ZT01 only stays in your system for so long. So Zucara knows that if you take one injection of ZT01 at bedtime, it can cover your needs to protect you from hypoglycemia through the night. But it's not a long acting medication that can stick around for 24 hours at least not yet. Zucara is working on a long acting version of ZT01 that could cover your needs for 24 hours. Eventually, they hope to develop a version that you only have to take once a week. And we've seen that evolution happen in medications like GLP-1s, which you now only need to take once a week. Okay, here's what you need to know about participating. You might qualify for Zucara's clinical trial if you've lived with type 1 diabetes for at least five years, you're between the ages of 18 and 75 years old, you're having frequent low blood sugars, your A1C is under 10%, your body mass index, your BMI, is between 18.5 to 33%. And of course, you're near one of their clinical trial sites. There's a full list of all the sites on their website, but it includes places like Los Angeles, California, Jacksonville, Florida, West Palm Beach, Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, Macon, Georgia, Moorhead City, North Carolina, Austin, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, and six sites across Canada, including Alberta, Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary, Concord, and a few others. 
During this study, Zucara will give you a CGM, but you actually won't be able to see the data. And another cool thing to keep in mind, it doesn't matter how you take your insulin. If you qualify to participate, it doesn't matter if you're on a pump or injections or whatever. Learn more about participating in the link in the notes on this video. Low blood sugars are miserable. They are scary, they're stressful, they cause a lot of anxiety. A medication like ZT01 would absolutely be life-changing for those of us who take insulin. For any age, you can learn more about preventing and managing lows in one of my books, Stop Overeating During Low Blood Sugars. I also teach you how to prevent lows in my book on exercise. Find a link to those books in the show notes. Low blood sugars are scary. Thanks for watching.